So I last did that story, Deputy Christopher Bingham. Deputy Bingham, well, he's the sheriff's deputy from San Bernardino County, got caught riding next to a patch member of the Mongols with, you know, all kinds of support gear, all that on, got himself arrested with a banger. They go to the man's house, find 160 other bangers. We went through all that. If you didn't see that, go watch that video. So in the end of it, I told you, I don't want to trap no more. I don't even want to drill no more. It was so hard for me to believe that the Mongols would have a cop around them. I just figured, man, the whole game is just done. That's it. Game over. I better just go get a full-time job and collect a 401k or something. I don't know, man, because the game's done. Well, a couple of the fellas, they reached out to me. They let me know what was going on, and the game's not done. This is who I was, but it's definitely not who I am. Welcome to Vegas Profile Stories. Let's get it. So Rob from Ventura. And other places amongst the world. Anyway. <laughs> this is it. I ain't never been no, no coward or needed people to, you know, fight my battles. So after doing that story, a couple of the fellas, they reached out to me in the background. Never on no funny shit. They're always respectful. I'm always respectful. That's just kind of how it's been. This was a new person that I was talking to. Super respectful. My dude, all the love in the world. They had the Vegas guys get a hold of me just to give me the rundown on what was really going on. You know, you ask the media and the cops, they're going to tell you whatever it is they want you to hear. Most of the time, they're foolish. We already know that. This time, no different than the rest. So here's what really went on as far as it comes to the Mongols. Yes, Christopher Bingham is a deputy was probably not going to be anymore and yes he was pulled over riding next to a patch member of the mongols problem is they said oh this dude is you know notorious hanging out with the the club that's not how it's going at all that dude never hung out with the club he hung out with a mongol also nobody knew this dude was a cop why would they he's not around them now he is around this one individual that is a member was a member Bad things happen when you bring cops around, man. I don't know. Anyway, it goes, dude said, hey, I, I didn't know he was a cop. It's possible, not plausible, not probable, but possible. You're riding around with old boy. You should probably know. And it's not like it's an undercover sting or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude got arrested for having an illegal banger on him. You probably should have done your homework on the people you're hanging out with. Anyway, it goes. All that did was smut up the club. Now it makes it look like this dude's in with the club when he's not. That dude is nobody to that club. He was hanging around one dude. Just like I go hang out with one Hell's Angel and all of a sudden they say, oh, I'm a Hell's Angel. The fuck part of the game is that? I don't know. I've been all over it. Mongols, 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 man. Do it like they're doing. You want the diagram? Check out the Mongols. Like that, right? I was like, no, say it ain't so. I don't know. Maybe that's how some of these mafiosos felt when Sammy the Bull, you know, did what he did. Like, who? They did what? No, no way. I won't, I won't accept it. And I'm glad. Thank you guys for reaching out because that shit sucked. You know, you're used to, I don't know. I don't like to dog anybody out. I, I just like to tell stories, right? That being said, it seems like most of the stories where I'm dogging somebody out, they seem to come from specific chapters or charters from specific clubs a specific club if we're being real about it you know what's up slick not done with you at all as a matter of fact y'all about to get it with that being said you don't hear me dogging out any of the mongols any of their charters ever truth be told dudes are acting they're, they're gentlemen gangsters i don't just go around if they do something cool i'm gonna tell you about it if they do something bad i'm gonna tell you about it but when you hear that they're running around with a cop, and I waited. Everybody else did their stories, man. I did mine way later, like I usually do. And the reason for that is I don't like to be wrong. I like to hear from people first, but 
I waited until I thought it was an appropriate time and I did the story and then they reached out, which I'm glad they did because just the thought that a cop is rolling with them knowingly, bro. And there was no way, there's no way that they would know that somebody was a cop and still have them around. Come on now. You've already had all these feds and, and infiltrators and watch the women, by the way, boys. Oof. Yeah, that's their, that's their ticket in these days. And women, mm-mm-mm. If you're in Vegas and you see a couple of tattooed chicks around you and you're in the game, mm-mm, no, sir. Get them bitches out of there. They're federal agents. Or so the rumor, whatever. Anyway, it goes to think that they would knowingly have any type of an agent or a police officer or anything around them was just, pfft, I couldn't, there's nothing that would make that compute. That shit overloaded me, my senses. We're talking, these are the dudes. And, and they've had that kind of trouble in the past where dudes have come around and they've been cops or whatever. But what it is, is this one Mongol. One Mongol went and brought this dude around, didn't do his homework, and now, bam, dude gets popped with 160 bangers and they call him the Mongol cop truth is he ain't never been around none of them that dude's a lame dude who brought him around's a lame it is what it is man like what's that about i would have said oh old boy is on the take except they arrested christopher bingham the only way that that would be like a deep cover keep would be like i mean they still they'd have to drop these charges on him for me to believe that that was a snitch in his handler or something like that who knows so who knows any way it goes you know, old boy's out there looking for something else to, hand, to do. He got a lot of time on his hands now. Maybe he can ride his homeboy up in jail. You know, we're done let the fox in the hen house. Mm, 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 mm. That's a bad decision. He had a bad day for sure. As far as taking the video down, the video is on Christopher Bingham and his arrest and, and all of that, right? So, I mean, it is a story. I, I still stand by. Yeah, I stand by how I felt about it when I thought the Mongols had a cop around. But I feel like I gave him a fair shake in that story too. Like, uh, uh, you really think that they, I don't know, you know, like I just couldn't believe it for myself. And then I also had Iron Order reach out to me. I get it, dude, I get it. Y'all tired of being called the cop fucking club. Stop having cops in your club. That's all, I don't know what to tell you, man. Ain't nobody coming down on you, just telling the truth. And I get it, you guys, oh, we wouldn't knowingly, nah, knowingly, schmowingly, dude. Like, it's called a background check, do it. It's easy. I would do them when I was hiring bartenders in the bar. You guys are MC, you're not gonna do background checks on the dude you're bringing in? Nah, that's cool. Nah, we didn't do a background check, but we checked his Facebook and, you know, it's only two years old though, but uh, everything looks good. No, nah, man, do your homework. Or don't get mad when a dude says iron order when we're talking about cops being in a club. I don't know. Just keeping it real. Keeping it a hundred. A buck. A thou wow. I don't know. I don't like that one. Uh-uh. That was pretty fucking lame. We're going to cut that out. Anyway, I just needed to shoot this video. It's like not even really a normal video, but it needs to be said. It needs to be out there. So here we are. There's no way. There was no way that dude it was knowingly accepted by anybody in that club on some, we know you're a cop, but you can still hang out type of shit. Just no way. There's no amount of business in the world either. These guys aren't gonna fall for the old banana and the tailpipe. Tell me, oh man, yeah, I'm a cop, but like, I'm a dirty cop. Yeah, I can get you whatever you want, man. Come on now. Look at the damage that's been done to these clubs by law enforcement. They're not gonna fall for that. The only thing that makes sense is they did not know that that dude was a cop and he wasn't around them or else they would have known, you know? You bring somebody around enough, they're gonna check in on them. I promise you that. If your Uncle Larry got some, you know, bad, bad Uncle Touchy charges or something on him, don't be bringing him around the MC. Third, fourth time you bring that dude around, they're gonna be like, huh, I don't know about old Larry over there. We're gonna need to, yeah, go ahead and check him, run him through the system. Bing, bang, boom. Uncle Larry got a tune-up. So, the only thing that makes sense, they didn't know. And then they get, get in touch with me, and they tell me, hey, look, come on, man. 
it was like a it was like a U2 type of moment too. Like, damn, bro. Usually been hella cool, which fuck, of course I've been hella cool towards the Mongols. Like they're doing it right. That's why it was like, fuck, what the fuck? But everything's restored. Go back to your daily lives. And if you're a Mongol, don't be rolling down the freeway with a cop. Might cost you your patch, might cost you, you know, your reputation, any of that shit. Craziness. I mean, you know how paranoid the clubs are anyway. We go, no, I didn't know he was a cop, I swear, dude. Boy, if you don't get your life together, whew, mm, 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 mm. time to go do something else. I don't know what, but maybe the police academy is hiring. They got an opening. You bring a cop around the club. You know what's gonna happen? Tell him, professor. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Thank you for coming to Vegas Profile Stories. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. So Rob from Ventura. And other places amongst the world. Hey, wait. <laughs> this is it. I ain't never been no, no coward or needed people to, you know, to fight my battles. I should step back and slap myself for just believing that bullshit. Low key, all I could think was, oh man, they must really have some sort of a, they sent him in there, like deep undercover type shit into the cops or something. I don't know. Like they infiltrated the cops this time instead of the, vice versa that's all i could figure that's all that it was either that or this i mean this is the most plausible like cops put a 10 on the two because old boy got pulled over next to a, a member and now dude lost his decoder ring now he ain't a part of the club no more it happens mm, 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 mm. shout out though to the gentleman that got a hold of me i appreciate it and uh we'll be in touch for sure Anytime I got questions, hopefully I can uh, shoot you a text. You know what I'm saying? And avoid this type of stuff. Shout out to the other Mongols in that one town uh, from a few months back. They got a hold of me on a different thing. Uh, and I was able to secure them like, I don't remember. I think it was like 1,500, 2,000 brand new bicycles and helmets for the kids for the toy drive. That was dope. That was dope. That was returning the favor. They helped me on something. I helped them on something. Shout out to those dudes too. They're out there in the in the thick of the muck, you know? Just like they all are, I guess. And Vegas Mongols, out there doing the damn thing. Took the town, now what? Shout out to Rizzo. Fucking pop. Swear to God. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Take it easy.